Hi, and welcome to another 5-Minute UAD Tip. Today, we're going to take a look at the Oxide Tape Recorder plugin. Magnetic tape has been the primary way to capture sound throughout the history of modern recording. Now, the Oxide Tape Recorder plugin from Universal Audio gives you the compression and character of magnetic tape in an affordable, easy-to-use plugin. With Oxide, you can glue your tracks together and have them sounding like a record. Let's dive in and take a listen. Oxide is simple to use with just a handful of controls, but under the hood is all the tape mojo you need to make your tracks come together. Tape speed lets you switch between 15 and 7.5 IPS, or inches per second. 15 IPS produces the familiar bass bump and general saturation associated with modern rock recordings. 7.5 IPS gently boosts the high end and softens the peaks in your music while moving the bass bump lower in frequency, so the effect is brighter and more pronounced. Oxide's EQ switch features two pre-emphasis curves. Pre-emphasis is a recording EQ, originally designed to reduce noise and optimize the frequency range of tape, but it can also be used to generate interesting tonal qualities in your music. You'll only hear the effect of this switch when in repro mode, which is the sound coming off the tape. The default pre-emphasis EQ is NAB, which adds a small boost above 3 kHz. CCIR starts higher at 6.3 kHz and adds a bit more brightness. NR is the noise reduction control, and it removes the hum and hiss of tape from the processor when turned on. Input controls the amount of level sent to tape, and this has the largest impact on your sound. The VU meter shows input level, so you can easily see how much signal you're sending to tape. Output is used to compensate for different input levels, and has no effect on the tape tone. Input and repro let you switch between the pre-tape and post-tape signal. And lastly, the power switch lets you bypass the plug-in altogether. Starting at the bottom with the drums, let's put an oxide in the first insert slot of each track, as if they were recorded on a multi-track tape recorder. For the kick, let's bring up the Warm Kick Minus 3 VU preset. These easy-to-use presets are named for the instrument they were created for and the level you should aim for on the VU meter. So here we'll adjust the input knob until we see about minus 3 dB on the meter. Here's a before and after. You can hear a nice snap and extended lower octave on the drum. Lovely! On the snare, let's start with the Drive Snare Plus One VU preset to give it some girth and saturation. We'll adjust the input to hit plus one dB on the meter and check out the before and after. Now we'll bring the overheads in with Oxide so they all blend as if they were playing off the same tape deck. On this track, let's take advantage of the bass bump at 15 inches per second and use the Warm Bass Zero VU preset. Here's a before and after. It's like an instant good switch. Guitars love going to tape as well, and on this track, Oxide helps them sit just right with its gentle compression and tone shaping. Lastly, we'll hear the combined effect of all the oxides in the session together. Don't look backward, everyone was younger than All of us were absurd, making perfect relevance With Oxide, you get the warmth and thick sound of magnetic tape recorders without the expense and maintenance associated with them. You can track through it in real time with Apollo and mix down anytime with any UAD hardware. But by far, the best way to experience Oxide is to demo it and put it on your own tracks. Oxide, only from Universal Audio.